Depending on what Dee Dee Davidson does here in the latter stages. Dee Dee leading by a dozen here in the eighth. And the last four shots uh, virtually packed into the pocket. Yeah, she's made the subtle moves on this championship round pair and done a very nice job of it. Well, after leaving the 4-7 three times in a row, I was waiting for her to make mm -hmm. uh, a move. Thing is, she might have been moving all along that, too. You know, mm -hmm. that's the thing that's so hard for us to see. We can't see the exact boards that they play on so many times. And, hey, they're moving all the time, but... Uh, a key shot there in the eighth. One more strike here, and that pretty much clinches the victory. Well, she was also having a, a problem releasing the ball, so she probably couldn't read the lanes if she was not getting out of the ball clean. Now that she's getting out of the ball clean, uh, she is ripping the racks. Well, that was a dynamite shot there. One more right now puts her up by 22 in a possible 235 game. The 1985 LPBT Rookie of the Year who really, I think, is a player that's not even close to reaching her potential. She's matured a lot out on the tour in the years she has been out there. This is her seventh year on tour. She's 24 years old. She started very young. She was only 17, and uh, that's very young to come out here and uh, play with the big ladies. <laughs> Lori Soto still has a uh, possible 213 as a best score. And uh, for Dee Dee Davidson, if she spares here, could still shoot, what, 215? Close. Lori Soto right now could walk up and shoot 213. She would at least force Dee Dee Davidson to get two strikes in the 10th. Needing this one badly, and she gets the break. Good shot. She shook him up a little bit. The key is, Danny, she trusted it, and uh, she caught the wall shot. Those light hits are going to carry a lot better than the high hit. Now to give herself any opportunity whatsoever, she's got to hit the first one here in the tenth. Lori switching balls there on lane 14. Apparently did not like the reaction that she had been getting. So as far as she was concerned, she felt it was the lanes. Another light hit. This time the ball does not react and uh, the familiar 2-4-5 stands up again. Once again, switching balls to convert the spare. She's going back to the ball we've seen her use Previously for her strike ball. Well, she left the 2-4-5 in the eighth on this lane, so she certainly has a feel for making it. Still has a chance. Yes, she does. But she has to make this. Right now, a clean game for Lori Soto. She's going to force Dee Dee, if she strikes, to at least get nine pins. The nine pins would tie. Dee Dee would have to strike or spare. Ooh, critical shot there. So now count the big factor for Dee Dee Davidson. A game of 191 for Lori Soto, and uh, it was a clean game. Nine pins for Dee Dee Davidson on the first shot. And she will advance against Jeannie Maiden. Beautiful shot. Very critical shot for Dee Dee Davidson, who stepped up and just threw a dandy. Well, that's the difference, Denny. Uh, Dee Dee Davidson has been in this position before. She is a touring player. She's been on the telecast. She has two titles. Her match game record in the championship round, 10 and 14, but uh, she will improve on those numbers here this evening. Lori Soto with a uh, 
terrific performance in the first two games, games of 245 and 232, but she came up a little short against Dee Dee Davidson, who clinches the semifinal win. We'll come back with the championship game in the WIBC Queens.